there comes a time when you hear about a fancy girl who has hired a lawyer. Oh, don't worry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I am building up the, hey, the brothel. Today's video, intensity, we'll talk about it. There are two things you might think about when it comes to intensity. And I, for one, know one has to deal with whatever it is you set in the camera. And one has to deal with whatever you set with the light source. Intensity is how bright a light is in a particular scene. And you control intensity by using your exposure on your camera. So we are assuming intensity is a set or is a fixed constant, like your strobe, the natural light, and maybe a continuous light source you have in the studio, right? And exposure then comes with the camera settings you have. Today's video, I'll make sure I'll combine the two, but if I don't, I know I'm primarily going to talk about the camera's intensity when it comes to light. When it comes to fixing your exposure in camera, we both look at the sensitivity of the camera's lens. You're looking at how wide or how close the blades of the lenses are. You're looking at how fast the blades of the camera sensor is. You need to understand that ISO is how sensitive your camera is relative to the intensity of light. So when you're exposing for your light source in the frame, figure out the settings you need there are some specific iso default settings for specific conditions when it comes to aperture you're mostly dealing with how open or how close your aperture blades in the lens are when it's a closed aperture blade that means you have a higher f-stop you're looking at f-stops like f10 f16 and i mean all the values you know for higher f-stops and when your aperture blades are open or wide open, by wide open, they mean you have lower f-stops like 1.2, 1.4, 2.0. Right. Balancing the intensity with your aperture blades is also another way of making sure you have the correct exposure on your subject. But when it comes to shooting in the studio, your ISO, your f-stop and the intensity of your light source is what matters not your shutter speed the only time the shutter speed is a big deal or becomes a boss is when you're shooting with continuous light source maybe you want to practice shutter drag or when you're shooting outdoors with the natural light or any available light at all i'll be using 60 and a 50 mm 1.8 lens maybe i'll interchange it with Sigma 35 1.4 lens. I mean, I'm mostly not stable with my lenses. I'm using 6D just because I want to let you. Ay, 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 that's an awful. <laughs> just because I want to let you know. Why are you passing here? Why are you passing here? You should have let them see me. I'm using 6D just because I want you guys to know you don't need too big or too expensive of a gear to create in a studio. So for all those who are looking at selling their 6D, come and give them to me. What I want to start with is the eyes to the sensitivity. I am not going to change anything concerning the settings. There's a 6D, like I said, 50mm 1.8 lens, x 2 trigger. I will start using the one light, which this box is a 90D bow parabolic from Photobox by Photoplace. DP 600, so 600 watts. Currently, intensity is at 1 over 128. F-stop is 2.2, ISO 250, shutter speed 1 over 180. I'm not changing anything. I'll take a picture like this, and I'll show you how that one looks like. All right. This is ISO 250. To be, to be very honest, I feel like, first off, whenever it is I'm teaching, when it comes to shooting in the studio, there are video lights. So I tell you to kill off the ambient lighting. Taking a look at this, I can see the effects of my ambient lights in there because the shadow casted by the strobe box is seen in there. The shadow casted by the model is seen on the background because of the hard light hitting our subjects, all right? So what I will do, turn off the trigger, Take the same picture again. Right, 
this is with the continuous light available in there now i am about to change the intensity with my iso i'll move the iso from 250 to 100 and take the same image again it's darker now i still want to kill off the ambient light right i'll move this f-stop to f4 take a picture at f4 We almost have no lights in the image. It's just subtle, a subtle showcase of lights hitting our subject. Beautiful. Now we've eliminated the ambient lights in the frame, which is all these video lights. So that's how the exposure comes into play. I've sent it to 100, ISO 100, the sensitivity of the camera to 100, to light to 100, right? And I have closed the aperture blades to F4 to allow just a minimum amount of light to enter into this. The shutter speed is a 1 over 160 because when I turn on the trigger, it's still going to be a 1 over 160. Like I said earlier, shutter speed doesn't really affect your lighting when you're shooting with strobes in the studio, unless you're shooting with continuous light or ambient light. So I'll turn on the strobe, move the intensity to 1 over 32. I'll start from 1 over 32. Beautiful. Take a picture like this. Right, 1 over 32 is not working enough for us. I'll move it to 1 over 16 with the same settings. Take another picture. Now you're looking at a very dramatic looking image. If you consider the direction of the lights, you're looking at a Rembrandt lighting, which is perfect for what I want to see in my frame. Beautiful. So as you might have seen from the beginning of the video, we started with ISO 250, F2.2, shutter speed 1 over 180, and the flash power was off. The flash power was at 1 over 128. That was just the default one. Immediately I picked the camera, that's what, that's what I'm getting. So to expose for the image, just to make sure the brightness of the light is not so much in the image is what I just did. So yeah, that's basically it about intensity of light. It's how bright you see your light source in your scene or in your frame or in your image or wherever it is you want to call it. So I hope I made myself clear about intensity and I'm sure you're going to grab better images when you, know, you apply the knowledge from direction quality and now intensity okay thank you so much for watching today's video like subscribe share go check out everyone's handle down in the description box below i wanted to make this video just so that you know to show you guys i'm still alive also buy my product support the business it's very important right oh sell the thing oh yeah it's very important will i pay Please buy and I'll do what I do and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.